So the idea of Human Nature Connect came from what was one of the first principles of intercultural roots, which is connecting people is a holistic project and it's about arts for health and social change. We see ecology as a, not as an extreme, but as an intrinsic part of what it is to be in a relationship with art, which is not just promote health, but is healthy in itself, and that it's also extending to social change. Ecology is there as part of the practice, also from an idea that uh, we cultivate so far from all the, our background, which there is an ecology of practice. So we are all about practices. And this project is also not just let's nurture, be nurtured by nature, let's pray nature. It's about how we connect what we are doing, who we are, with nature. How do we bring this connection forward and make something from there in our human uh, connection with ourselves, with our practice, and therefore this can be an enabler. So in this principle of promoting social change with health, nature and connection with nature is intrinsic, but also what we have discussed here, which is how we can then because it's not just about nature, you know, it's how this relationship with nature informs something different that is talking about a kind of nature which is sustainable, which is uh, thriving, which is respecting its own lifeness, uh, and this is what we call ecology of practices. So we always spoke about ecology of practices, it's something that is difficult to understand. But it's like how we can be with each other, creating communities, doing what we're doing, allowing spaces to be preserved in doing what we're doing, and not reproducing this model of taking giving, of extractivism. So, yeah, it came from there. And what we were looking there is what is ha what happens in the space in between, and how and why does a space in between many times is more important than the outcome. Mm -hmm. This space in between is already the thing, <laughs> and how we can nurture and, and and open our gaze to understand what is in there to foster other qualities of that space. How can we do this? We need to create community. We need to make this community to look at things that matters for them and, and enhance this connection to the point that the community can then walk on its own path, you know, and we are part of this process. It's kind of a name, well, let's create an environment to keep doing what we are doing, you know, <laughs> a little bit like that.
because this connection between and this is one of the things I would like to revise and people are already questioning you know saying human nature connect is almost saying the obvious <laughs> but sometimes we need to say the obvious when things are so crazy in the world Something around our practice that is not our practice, is our environment, matters so much or as much as what we're doing. You know, today we finished with some reflections and I'm still digesting it. And one of the principles of the, the work is that we don't assume or presume anything of the relationships that we're fostering. And although we would like to provide things for practitioners, we don't really have this role. It's much more the role of facilitators. So it's instigating that every time that we create a project, we need to hear and learn with them and carry on from there. So I think there will be a lot of reflections that will inform us on how we are going to go and grow through. In, in this, this perspective, uh, my practice is already informing that whatever I do needs to spread out through life and create a kind of ecosystem in which this practice can survive. So this was always very important for me because I came from this laboratory approach. Uh, and because laboratory approach is all about communities, about how we do things equally as what we are doing. <laughs> that's that's kind of a parameter that was always oriented me. Yeah, right now. Yeah. We'll, talk, we'll talk later, all right? <laughs> 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 Respecting what is already there and how people are collaborating kind of uh, increment what is there and expand to more instead of like you know keep keep the listening of community as as a guidance I'm overwhelmed, especially by the kinship, by the, the, this connection between us, how we create nature, our nature in our relationships, and how we extended that in appreciating our environment with awe, with wonder. Uh, it was incredible to receive the pedagogy of the guides. They, they overwhelmed all of us. And what nature provided was a new insight for our practices, was a new way of seeing that it's not so different what we do and what nature does. <laughs> kind of recognize nature as a partner and dance with it in a large scale. Uh, of course, there are the very kind of 
<laughs> practical things like being in a cave and be all wet and sing and dance. And one thing that overwhelmed me is how nature feeds you, it nurtures you off your artistic practice. You know, I was being taught how to dance by stone today as I <laughs> it was my dance teacher that's <laughs> never been before. And, and the caves, you know, which can be very challenged, but invite us to overcome fears and overcome ourselves in there. So, yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, I hope we, we yes. can expand this project even more. <laughs>